Hey friends, I'm back again. Oh, since I'm in this groove on Saturday, might as well keep going, right? Um, don't know which one's gonna upload first. I got a lot going. But anyway, I checked on Bernie and Joe Biden. Let's check on Liz Warren. She's sinking a little. What's her plans? Let's find out. All right, Liz. Liz Warren. So we got, uh, in my opinion, <laughs> they are that age, but we got Grandpa Joe and Grandpa Bernie and Grandma Liz. Lots of energy, Liz. She's been sliding a little bit. How long is Liz going to last in the race? And what's your feelings, Liz? What's going on with you, Liz? Your feelings? How long are you going to last in the nominational race? Liz Warren. What's going on with you, Liz? So, you, you people that have checked my videos out, they tend to be a little longer. Because I want to get the proper info from each card and what we have to say. I don't like just flopping them out and saying, yep, this is a moving card, yep, this is a money card. I want to make sure we're getting the right information. Otherwise, it's just worthless. In my opinion. So anyway, here we go. Time to concentrate on Liz Warren. I got a plan, Liz Warren. Liz, how long are you going to last in this race? How are you feeling? Tell us what's up. Liz Warren. Her energy says, I'm losing donations. Liz Warren. What's up? Kind of heard she's leaning towards endorsing Amy Klobuchar. Okay. Liz Warren, what's going on with you? She really didn't like that thing on stage with Bernie. I was thinking before maybe she was going to support Bernie because of um, their similar ideals. But she's all about the woman. She's like, it's high time we had a woman president. But I guess that was more ego when I said that. I think so. Because of their same ideals. Or maybe it was the energy at the time, I don't know. But... Yeah, so I got a feeling she's going to start supporting Amy Klobuchar. Try to push her message out to Amy, for, for Amy. Oh, card flopped out. Emperor and Ace of Cups. Hmm. That kind of feels like um, her love for um, the government, working for the people. But that just flopped out, so. All right. Back to Liz Warren. Concentrating on Liz Warren. What's going on being the nominee in your presidential race? Tell me when to stop shuffling. Tell me when to stop shuffling. OK, 
Okay. Liz Warren. Let's put that energy through the cards. Liz Warren. Feelings about the presidential nomination race. How should I split this? Kind of heard a four split. Three, one, four, four, two. On the bottom, we have strength. She has a lot of strength in her passion. But it also shows a new age kind of turning the tides. She's strong physically. She's strong mentally. She's got a lot of energy for a 69-year-old, I think it is. Yeah, she's got a lot of strength. Alrighty. That's her. The start of the reading. That's her tears. Her head's down. She's in tears of sorts. She's feeling her five of swords disappearing and being the lovers of president. That was her passion. She wanted to be president. She wanted to have that union. But the five of swords between it is that struggle and that change and the defeat. The center of the reading was the Four of Cups. That's her too. She realizes her value. She has joy meeting all the people. And she's not greedy. It's a friendship card. To the left of the friendship card, seven of coins. That's the hard work and the dedication and the careful planning. And it's it shows um, with all that careful planning, she's showing she might have to go in a different direction. Because this card shows like an avalanche and a in a um you know, like a gully or a pathway. But there's this is coming down all this snow, so you gotta make another path to get around this. So she has been pushing back on some of her message, hopefully to get more in the middle. So she's tried that. Six of Wands. That's always the fighting card, you know. It's a group card. It's a army, army card. It's turning against each other card. And energy action of the accomplishments. It's an accomplishment and good news card too, though. It's a lot of people working together. But 
this feels like she doesn't like the fighting that the Dem candidates have done. The group. She doesn't like the fighting and the and the slandering and the, you know going back and forth. This guy did this. Pete did that. Biden did that. You know, Bernie's said this. She doesn't like the fighting. It's not what she got in for. Seven of coins. She's realizing that maybe it's not her destiny to be president. It's another dedication card like the Six of Wands. The planning and dedicating, but the visions might not be true of what she's tried to put out there. In the middle, we have the Six of Cups. We got the the memories and the past mistakes that were made and the emotions and feelings. But it's also, you know, taking in what the process has done. So she's taking it all in. And it's, it'll feel good though. Because she's taking it all in, all these emotions. Because she's met a lot of people. And she enjoyed that. She really enjoyed meeting all the people. But moving forward towards the end, we have the Ten of Swords. The drastic change. And the dark times and the struggles. Near future. We have the three of coins. That's the achievements she's done and the new skills and feeling a good good about herself. And the page of wands. That's the new message. The new message. The learning from it. Bringing hope and bringing a new message. What is this new message? The new message is a new stance. In her campaign. Not quite sure. Like I said, I'm leaning towards Amy Klobuchar. The new message is, or it could be the new message of leaving. The page, the new message of the ones. It's the thoughts of the new message dropping out. Yeah. And then we have temperance. She's putting a lot of thought into this. She doesn't want to give up, you know. She put a lot of energy and effort into it. She doesn't want to give up. And there's a lot of thought. Her cup overflows. The temperance. Taking control. I like Liz. She has great energy. She really does. The final card is the Ace of Coins. Yeah. The Prosperity. Ace of Coins. The decision is made on material matters. And a, a decision is made on her presidency. So this person in the card is sitting on a chair in thought. So the thought is, if the money stops flowing, she's going to end it. Kind of like Yang did. I'm not going to take people's money if I'm not going to be 
in the end. So it all depends on if the money keeps flowing to her. If it keeps decreasing, she's going to drop. And I think she'll drop. I'm, I'm really thinking she's going to drop. Not soon, soon. She's going to stick it in, stick it, stick through it as long as she can. It all depends on the money. So, should I, other deck, yeah. Let's get some clarity with the other deck quick. How long have I got here? 15 minutes? Liz Warren. Let's get a couple cards clarity. Let's get some clarity with a couple cards on what's going on. Like when you might drop out, if you're going to drop out. Support Amy. Cards flop out. Ace of Coins again, the Empress, Loving Energy, the Star, the New Thoughts. But they just fell out, so I never take too much credence in the cards that don't stay flopped or stay in the deck. Liz Warren, Lizzie, Liz Warren. Couple card clarity through this deck. Got it? No. Nope. Okay, we got Knight of Wands. New action taking steps. Energetic. The world is watching. A fate card. A culmination of what she started and the tower it's gonna end the Queen of Wands and that's again I think that's Amy Klobuchar she's gonna start supporting her it's in the thought process it hasn't happened a wand is the thought process the thinking of the little cat there supporting Amy Klobuchar. And the moving on card with the fool. The thought, thinking, I it might be time. And the chariot. That's a lot of, <laughs> that's a four out of six or major arcana. Moving on. So when is this going to happen? The Queen of Cups, that's her. The Eight of Wands. That's the confidence she has in herself, learning from what happened. Does that have anything to do with the time frame she leaves? No. Nothing with the timing there. The King of Pentacles, uh, she. <laughs> What's that? Is that Bloomberg? No. She hates Donald Trump. <laughs> that Donald Trump popping in. She despises him. Another eight. Eight weeks? She's going to last? No. The eight has nothing to do with it. That's her, her being the professional. And then another knight. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Knight. It's a younger person. What does that mean? Knight. I said a few cards. I'll just leave it there. You know, she's eventually going to move on and it seems like she's going to support Amy Klobuchar for the woman. 
How long? How long is she gonna stay in? How long is Liz gonna stay in this race? Three, four weeks, maybe? I'm thinking three, four weeks. My primaries, three, four weeks. Four weeks would be March. No. She'll stay longer than that. Four weeks would be March 14th. Oh, maybe it is six, eight weeks. All those eights. Or just under. Hmm. There was some pentacles there, though. It is a moving on, so she might get some money yet. I always kind of felt she would be one of the last ones hanging on. But the way things are going, you know, not great showings in the first two. That I don't know. Seems like she might just hang on without the money. And just keep her name in the race. And maybe she'll come out of the pack eventually. Yeah, that feels more plausible. That she won't take any, you know, money, more money, unless I really wanted to. I feel her strength staying longer, as long as she can. But if she waits that long, she can't throw her hat in for Amy. Because Amy does seem to have movement forward, gaining support. There's a lot of energy just thrown out there right now. I'm trying to break through it all because, you know, there's a lot of support for this, that, and the other thing. And then you got Bloomberg throwing money in everywhere. And I've gotten before, he just, like, he won't get the nomination. He's just the money man. He's throwing all his money out there, and basically, America is not going to want another billionaire. But he's doing good with his ads. I just keep getting king of king of pentacles, king of coins for him. He's the money man. He'll be supporting whoever. But there's so much energy out there, Pete, and you know, it's hard to pick through it all. You know, who's going to support who? I might drop out and give my support to this person it is a lot of juggling energy you know a lot can change so is Liz going to drop out I should be touching cards <laughs> to get it better is Liz going to drop out shortly no these are all thoughts okay Oh, sorry, I burped. If you heard that, <laughs> these are all just thoughts right now. That's what I'm feeling most for her. She's gonna hang on, you know, not gonna want to take money from people. She might just keep her hat name in the, you know, in the process. See how she keeps doing. Keep trying to spread her message. So we'll see, but I'm I'm guessing April. I think there's primaries then. She might just keep her head in the ring then. Something like that. Yeah, it makes sense, you know. Kinda just hang out until the national primaries or whenever. I think that's in April. I haven't looked it up, but it seems right. <laughs> So that's what I'm thinking for Liz. Thanks.